Dun, dun, dun. The chicken is pending. Chicken Joy has the famous Jollibee cooked in taste. Welcome back, guys, to another video. Right now, I'm here at Jollibee with Adam Roth, famous American Idol contestant and also musician in Broken Iris. What inspired you to do music when you were younger, when you were a kid? Like, when did you realize you wanted to do music? I've always wanted to do music. When did I find out I wanted to do music? When I could, when I was too big to do Legos, I figured music would be a good replacement. So you learned piano first? First I played, learned Legos, then I learned piano. And then also you can do drums too as well? Sure, I can play drums, yeah. And then a little bit of guitar too. I can play guitar, play drums, play bass. So you're pretty much a one-man band, but you I also... I can be, but I like to have, I like to play with people because it's really fun to collaborate, you know? Oh yeah. Really excited to eat at Jollibee, by the way. Yeah, let's... Ah! <laughs> there goes your hat. Oh no. They let us in through the exit. Exit only. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. What do you recommend we get at Jollibee today? At American Jollibee, what's um, the most number one monster off thing? I recommend you guys get the spicy chicken. Hell yeah. Okay. As well as the peach ring. Yeah. Right, that's what's up. The uh, spicy chicken. Yeah. And then um, that's what that, we say. that $11 no, chicken a, sandwich is really good? It's really good, yeah. Okay. I recommend it. Uh, get the pineapple juice as well. With it. This is Adam's first time to try Jollibee. So yes, it is. it's a very exciting time. Like, may I be very jolly? You've been eating Filipino food since you were a child, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But my, my, my Filipino family uh, would get KFC because they all worked at KFC. Two of the cousins, my, sis, my, my sisters, actually, uh, what were they? I don't know if they're considered cousins or sisters. My grandpa married a Filipino lady and they had a family. And uh, they worked at KFC, so we, we always had KFC. And they're actually growing locations. Like every month they probably open one or two Jollibees, so it's actually growing pretty fast. It seems pretty similar to KFC's even marketing with the way that they put their buckets and everything. Yeah. But they're a bit different. You know, they've got a rivalry going on. They have, twist. they have KFC in the Philippines, and KFC does very well, but they actually have to make their chicken even better because Jollibee gives them such a high pedestal. There's actually a drink here that's really famous. You can't get this one in the Philippines. You can only get it in America, in the Jollibee in America. Which one? Pineapple the, Quencher? Or pineapple the, Quencher, yeah. Or the soda. There's a pineapple soda. Oh, no, it's Pineapple Quencher. You're right. Yeah, Pineapple oh, Quencher. Great. Yeah, so we're going to be trying that one. delicious. I love pineapple. That's probably my favorite oh. f***ing Excuse me. Pineapple is my favorite f***ing Fruit. Excuse me. Pineapple, excuse me. Pineapple is my favorite fruit. He likes when I do humai, which means throat singing. And then I add a little beatbox to it. Gotta get the jolly bee, get it right. Gotta get the pineapple juice. Also got the jolly spaghetti. Jolly spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try the jolly spaghetti. You know, they have a, a jolly bee mascot that gets up and dances around for everyone. Oh yeah, that guy. But they actually have like an actual suit, like Disneyland kind of style suit. Good afternoon. Could I get the uh, eleven dollars special? The you know the chicken That's sandwich. The oh, the sandwich or the the sandwich. Okay. You guys have the soda pineapple juice. We don't have the soda. Oh, it's, it's just the fountain and okay. the pineapple puncher. Pineapple quencher, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, and one what, pineapple quencher. And the, what, which chicken sandwich would you like? Spicy, spicy chicken. chicken. Yeah. You want to do the spicy or spicy deluxe? What do you think? Yeah, which one's more popular? Um, I would say more. Um, more people order order the spicy sandwich instead of. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. And then you want to do a peach pie, a peach mango pie. It comes with a peach pie. Two pieces of spicy chicken joy. Yeah, I guess so. One side, yeah, we got the french fries as well. And then, um, I guess the side of potatoes. Potato, mashed potatoes, yeah. Do the mashed potatoes. Do you want to make that a meal deal for $11? Yes. You can do the twist. Did you want to make the chicken spicy or original? Spicy, yeah, yeah. Anything else? That's all, that's perfect. Hey, I have the chicken sandwich and pie meal deal and the two piece meal deal, so it's going to be $26.64. Oh, perfect. Here to go. Great. Yeah. It's a good deal, right? It's a good deal. For here to go? Uh, for here. Where are you guys from in the Philippines? Are you guys from Luzon or from Cebu um, or? Mindanao. Mindanao. Oh, beautiful place. I've have never been. been no, never. Oh. And where are you Next from? Time. Oh, I'm from MCR. MCR, oh. MCR, that's where Manila is. Oh, okay. Nice. I love the Philippines. Lots of masarap food. Yeah, of course. You know, I think that 
they should add laing to their their food here in Jollibee. Laing oh, is always good. Yeah, laing is good. Thank you so much. Here's your hotter. Thank you. Okay, perfect. perfect. So Adam, what do you think about Jollibee so far? It's pretty jolly in here. It's pretty fun, actually. You know what? Actually, uh, there's supposedly there's supposed to be a uh, bee that comes out and dances with you. And uh, I've never danced with a bee. I've, I've only actually got stung by a bee. I had to run away from a bee. But it's going to be pretty jolly to be able to dance with one, isn't it? You know, we tried to say it was someone's birthday, but, you know, I don't think they always bring out the bee oh. on the birthday. I think it's like a Saturday thing. They have like multiple people that it's their birthday, and then they have like a big party. The Jolly Bee guy dances around, and it's, it's a lot of fun. But here in America, I don't think they do that all the time. Like, uh, it's not like the Philippines where every day, you know, they have like every day someone's birthday. So, but yeah, it's definitely a place where people come on their kid's birthday and it's like making memories for the children and everyone eats the Jolly Bee spaghetti, the Jolly Bee burger, and sometimes the Jolly Bee chicken joy. Well, it's pending in case you were wondering, uh, which means food may come. I think that's what yeah. that means. Oh, there we go. So anyway, I'm here with my son, and he doesn't want to be filmed at all. So I'm not oh. going to bring him into it, but I will tell you this. Is this the Jolly Bee? He's an this amazing one? piano player. Number just 10? wait, world. You oh, perfect. Just this wait. is everything. Yep. Oh, wow. And the straws are over there. Oh, perfect. OK. Thank the straws you. straws over there. Oh, wow. Oh, perfect. His name's Elijah Schwan oh. Schwan I'm going to grab a straw. Oh, yes. I'm a big fan of pineapple juice. In general, my grandpa always used to give it to me every time I went over to his house. Ooh. This has some soda mixed with it. Yeah. It's, it's really good. I thought that the tastes pineapple- Tastes like a child's drink. Yeah, it literally reminds me of like that pineapple in a can that you get. This is very refreshing. Very sweet though. Definitely, it's got a sweet oh. kick to it. Which should we start off on? How about a chicken sandwich? Chicken sandwich or maybe the chicken joy. <laughs> What's the chicken joy? What's that? This is this. There we go. Ooh. And we got the mashed potato with the gravy. Look at that. Look at that. It's the It's got the spicy thing on it. That looks ah. absolutely amazing. Mm. So should I take this out first? I'm gonna put it right there. Mm. But this is the spicy chicken joy. Okay. Here we go. So look at that very juicy meat on the inside. On the outside, it's very crispy. It's like a potato chip. This is really good chicken. Yeah. This is better than KFC. Way better. Mm. Oh yeah. Sorry, KFC. We have to keep on trying. So this it, has flavor to it. This has got a lot of flavor. It's it and it's of, way more tender. Yeah. This is the best chicken I've had in a long time. Is it? It's really good. Mm. Really good chicken. Oh, nice. It's just a very crunchy piece of chicken right here, and uh, juicy on the inside. On the outside, you can see it's, it's spicy. Got a nice crispiness to it. Wow. That is amazing chicken. That's a ten out of ten right there. It's not always a 10 out of 10 for Jolly Bee, but today this is. Let's mix a little bit of vinegar with this. You wanna try the ginger vinegar mixed with that? Yeah. Or the pina carat. Oh, this is even better. Oh my God, this is really spicy. Okay, let's put a little dash of the pina carat onto the Jolly Bee. We'll, we'll have like this. This is really spicy, dude. Mm. Okay, here. We're gonna put a little bit of the pina carat sauce on there. Oh, there we go. What oh my God. That makes it gourmet. Really? Yeah. Whoa. But it's too spicy. <laughs> oh my God, it's so spicy. I, I need a water. What about this one here? Oh. <coughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <coughs> we went down the wrong tube. Oh no. <coughs> That's not good. Oh my God. Drink the pineapple quencher, that's what it's there for. Oh, give me a water please, Robert. Okay, let's see. Wait. Could I, get a, could I get a water please? It's so spicy. It's the best chicken I've yeah, ever had one. though. Thank you. I'm in all the world. Oh, I get the water from over here? Oh, perfect. I can't wait for this. This is why I'm here. This sandwich, it looks so good. Oh. Emergency I'm water. Look at this. I'm the fire Look department. This. I'm crying. Thank you. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. Need more that water? Was really good water. <laughs> Isaiah, can you give me more, some more water, please? Thank you. 
Yeah, so. My son's here with me and he doesn't want to be a part of this at all, but it's hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, here, you want it, You want that one too, or? I don't think he wants it. Isaiah doesn't want it? No. Here, let's, let's split it in half then. Wait. Dude, oh, wait. the vinegar is so wild. Yeah, the vinegar really you, kills it sometimes. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. I, I'm actually, uh, I think I'm thirsty in general, but man, I'm like crying. This is so spicy. Chicken is like not too dry, for real. Like the chicken, they cook it with a batter that's got this nice oh. crunch to it. I'm not sure what stuff they use, like rice flour or some other different flours, but it's, it's more crunchy than KFC, and it locks in all those chicken juices. It's amazing. Mm. The thing is, I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to spicy things. So this is really getting me. It's not that yeah. spicy though. Yeah, I think if you had this in your house and you used it every now and then, you'd be pretty used to it. But yeah, I'm gonna just throw a little bit on here. Like, that's how I roll. Just a little bit of pinnacle wrap on my Jollibee. It always helps Jollibee taste better. My favorite vinegar in the Philippines. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Best vinegar in the world right there. Really? Yeah. I like that more than the ginger. Oh, nice. More than all the other ones you tried today. Yeah. A little bit more? Do it. Oh, yeah. Just a little dash. Mmm. Okay, I gotta get some water. Excuse me, oh. Robert. <laughs> <sighs> you need something to oh. cool you down? Mashed potatoes always are the answer. <sighs> yeah, it's soothing. I've never had this problem before. Ooh. I'm sorry. It's, it's really spicy. Yeah, all the food is pretty spicy. <laughs> Especially when you add the very spicy vinegar to it. Jesus Christ, Robert. You are the spice king. <laughs> mm. oh, I love that. The mashed potatoes are super buttery, super creamy. It's a perfect balance mashed potato, I would say. They're very hot though. Everything in this Jollibee honestly comes out very hot. So like you have to blow on it and yeah. just make sure. Watch out. Yeah. What do you think about the gravy though? Compared to like KFC's gravy, like what? It's what very do you think? similar, mm. but I'd say a little bit, a little more flavor. In the Philippines, they absolutely love gravy. One thing that you can't get in the Philippines is the mashed potatoes. They don't have that in Jollibee. They have that here in America. They don't grow many potatoes there, out there, do they? Well, they do, but the thing is, they just don't have it on their menu. It's a specialty item menu for America. Gotcha. And every country in the world has got a specialty item for Jollibee. Hey, now that the mashed potatoes have kind of calmed down the spice from all the other food, this place is an experience. It has really a lot of flavors. Yeah. And I'm, um, I'm actually just being 100% honest. It's like, I'm definitely gonna come here again. This is really good food. And I just love the chicken, because the chicken is like not too dry. And uh, wash it down with pinnacle wrap. They forgot our french fries. Oh wait, you're right. Do you want to try the spaghetti? Sure. Okay. I can't believe they have spaghetti uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why do you think they have spaghetti? Let's go into the theory behind that. Why is that wild? Because it's a uh, very American thing to have, like spaghetti. Even though it's an um, Italian thing? Yeah, and I've joked around that like, you know, the spaghetti is better here in Jollibee than in Italy. But I mean, really? they're just very different. This is a more of sweet spaghetti. It's like kind of a sweet, <coughs> savory spaghetti with uh, these longanista sausages cut up. Uh -huh. So longanista is the uh, sausage in the Philippines. Let's give this a try though. It does smell sweet. Yeah. A little mm. bit sweet. I'm gonna give it a try as well. Ooh. It's unique. Yeah. It tastes like a child made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. It tastes like a young child made it and like put like Cheerio, like I don't know, uh, just the random ingredients, you know? Yeah. Is it good? It's yes. just sweet. Yeah. It's, yeah, it is good. It's so good. They, they use a banana ketchup to make the sauce. <laughs> so it's like a little bit of like banana ketchup, but then also it's got the uh, little bit of meat that's minced in there. Mm. It tastes like a five-year-old child made it. Because it's got the hot dogs in it too as well. That's so. funny. Do you try one of the hot dogs? Oh my God, it's got hot dogs in it. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of the spaghetti oh, at no. all. <laughs> you don't like it. That's it good. tastes like a child messed up on spaghetti. 
<laughs> so, but you like the mashed potatoes, though. Yes, mashed potatoes go hard. And you love the chicken. Chicken's really good. The chicken joy, absolutely chicken amazing. Is super spicy, super good. The people here are really nice too, by the way. Yeah, I want to really, say that they're very, very friendly. Nice. But honestly, I do like the spaghetti. It is something unique, though. It is Filipino yeah. spaghetti. It's not like normal spaghetti. So don't expect normal spaghetti when you like Fair try enough. Jollibee spaghetti. Fair yeah, well, very, very, very. If you come into the spaghetti like you've never had spaghetti before, maybe you like it. The main event of the night is this thing right here. This is the spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. Are you ready for that? Let's do it. The oh spicy chicken God. sandwich. We gotta have the dramatic music come on. Dun dun dun! The chicken is pending. Okay, so I really like the bun here. It's like a very interesting looking you know bun like it, it's a very glossy looking bun if you look it reminds me of a donut almost like a donut without the frosting on the outside of it oh thank you uh, so, so much the fries are going to be like a five minute wait but okay oh thank is this a double so yes. oh this is the rice adobo thank you so much so we're going to wait for the fries but try the rice adobo look at that steam oh wow it's got a nice autofocus on this camera. So yeah, this is one of their famous dishes. It only came out about eight months ago, this adobo flavored rice. Oh my God. I wish I could try it. You can. <laughs> I can. Mm. Oh, that's right, you can't try it. That's really mm. good. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's nice. Rice you know, it's a very it. mild adobo flavor. It's not like a strong adobo kind of flavor, like saucy or anything. It's Never. just like a very dry, cooked down with rice. It's like a, you It'd know, it's really a nice stir fried rice. Sauce. It'd be oh, really yeah. good with soy sauce. No, definitely. Or vinegar. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Should we try a different vinegar with that though? We should. This one was one that you really wanted to try earlier. Yeah, let's try it. Let's, let's, let's try a try dash it. of this. Uh, hold out your spoon. Oh, wait. Over the, uh, that thing. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we oh, go. Oh, nice. Mm. That's strong. It's good. Yeah. I'm into it. Not my favorite, but it's very good. It's, it's not like your favorite uh, vinegar. Of the vinegars, no. Ah. But it's got a really nice mm. taste to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's very strong. It's perfect to go on even plain rice or any rice. Mamacita, spicy vinegar. It looks like it's going to be super spicy, actually of those peppers. Yeah, because it's got the whole peppers in it, but actually this one takes the cake, I think, on the most spicy most of the time. It does. This one is definitely more gingery, though, I would say. But yeah, they're both really good. My favorite one of the night, though, is this ginger one. Mm. Ginger vinegar, just simple. I can't tell which one's my favorite. I'm going back and forth. Yeah. I keep on going back and forth between those two. Let's try this uh, sandwich here. I guess, should we break it in half, or? F it in, man, go after it. Okay. Give it a try. Not bad. Mm, that's really good. I'm so full mm. that I can't really tell if I like it or not. I'm gonna give it a solid four and a half. Four and a half, not bad, out of 10. Or no. is that out of five? Four and a half out of 10. Oh wow, okay. So I really like the sauce that they throw on there, it's kind of like a very chipotle kind of mayonnaise slash Thousand Island dressing. Mm. The chicken is juicy. It's just a very simple chicken sandwich. Really, really good. How does it compare to like Popeyes or like Chick-fil-A? Um, it doesn't like, compare. Oh, it doesn't compare. No. You don't like it as no. much. I'm just being honest. Yeah. So it's it doesn't not, compare to anything like that. So the chicken, the chicken is itself is hella good. The sandwich, I wouldn't even order it. So you're not a fan of the bread? Nope. You're not a fan of the sauce? No. So, no. So you it's, only it's like the, the fried chicken part? The fried chicken's bomb. Mm. The re this, is, this is kind of a filler. It's not, it's like almost like worse than McDonald's. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. So what would you recommend people to get if they come to Jollibee? The chicken by itself and the, this, this, this pineapple drink yeah. and the chicken. What about this? Was this good? The mango pie? Yeah, we gotta try it still. All right, give I'll give it a, a shot of the mango pie. Did you try the chicken peppers or no? Those we are probably good. Yeah, we didn't the, try I bet those yet. are good. I bet those are good. Oh, here's some oh, fries. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Oh, nice. How do you get this out of here? They have uh, good, great music playing, by the way. 
So wait, I'm gonna move this a little bit. How do you get this out of here, Robert? This is what I do. Oh man. I guess my technique now is just to open the whole thing. Oh wow, it's just, it's like stuck in there. Even after opening it. Okay, you know, there we go. I feel like this company took a little bit of every single uh, fast food restaurant and made it their own in America, even their marketing. Yeah. This is the jelly pie, the mango pineapple jelly pie. It's uh, looking good. What do you think? I'll give it a try on this side. Mm. It's good. Mm. We finish it. It's light. Mm. It doesn't yeah. have too much of a flavor to it. There's a little bit of caramelized sugar on the top part of it, so you get those sugary crisp crunch. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, it's just a very nice fried, doughy pie. Very crunchy. It's got a lot of jam, lots of sugar. Definitely will give you diabetes early. Yeah, yeah. Now, I love the combination of the mango and the pineapple. It's just a great what a little good combo. combo. Yeah. That's mango? Yeah, there's like mango in there. It's a mango, oh, peach. It's a peach mango pie, gotcha. not pineapple. No wonder. Gonna try the french fries. They're hot, very hot. Well, again, it feels like a kid tried to make french fries. Oh, they're pretty good. They're, good. <laughs> they're not bad at all. Like, they're not special at Jollibee. Like, the french fries are not like. They just do the trick. Yeah, they just do the trick, especially when they come out hot like this one. Mm. Hey, no complaints about the service here. These guys are so nice. Mm. Oh my God. It's funny too, because sometimes if a place has like decent food and the service is better, I'll like the place because of the service. You know what yeah. I mean? And so they're they, just really sweet people. They're really nice. Filipinos in general, they're just very warm, very giving. Like they just gave us a adobo rice. And then they also gave us the fries too. I think they gave us, a, upgraded our order to a bigger fried fry. Yeah, they're just really friendly people. What's this? This is the gravy. Ooh. Oh yeah, do you want to put the gravy on anything else? I'm gonna get a little french fry in my gravy, Robert. That is smart. That is, I don't think I've heard of doing that, but that is what mm. you should do. Okay, come to Jollibee, get some gravy and some, and some french fries. Mm. That's good. Yeah, french fries and gravy. I never thought about that, because I never ordered french fries at Jolly Bee Me before. either. You know what? Um, I have mm. to cut this interview a little short. I gotta use the restroom, excuse mm. me. Mm. One minute, Robert. There's a sign in there that says, um, if, if the bathroom needs attention, go ahead and ask them. I don't need to ask them anything. That bathroom needs no attention, Robert. So it's a 10 out of 10 bathroom. 10 out of 10 bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, um, Jolly Bee is always really consistently good, you know. Good chicken, good <laughs> atmosphere, good attitudes with everyone. But well, yeah, I just love this place, for real. Me too, man. Mm. I am a fan. I don't like the spaghetti. I don't like the sandwiches, but the chicken in the bathrooms? <laughs> Amazing. 10 out of 10 on the chicken in the bathrooms. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Oh, oh and, and the pineapple juice. Bomb. Mm. Really good pineapple juice. May I? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You're gonna oh, get yeah. another oh, pineapple yeah. juice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What I like to do, is I take one pineapple juice and the other pineapple juice and put one into the other to make one big pineapple juice. Oh, that's always good. Okay, Adam, so we got one more vinegar to try. This is the most common vinegar in the Philippines. It's called Datu Buti. So yeah, you want to try a little sample of it? Yes, Datu Buti, I'm into that. So I'm just, just like high school, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you can try it like this. Ooh. Mmm, that's oh, really good. It kind of reminds Perfect. me of like pickles yeah. in a jar. Just yeah. take a sip of that vinegar. It's got a little bit of kick, but not that much. Like spicy Turkish pickles. I am very much into it. I like yeah. that one almost like more than the most because it has, it's so mild. Yeah, it's a you very- You can put that on anything. Yeah, no, definitely. It's uh, just got a nice spice vinegar. Throw some on like, my fry. Yeah. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, a lot of vinegar goes to waste. Now it's like fish and chips. Oh yeah, English fish and chips, adding vinegar to your french fries. Yep. Mm. Fantastic. This guy just throws mm. it down. Looks good on the french fries. Yeah. You ever throw that on there? That's really good actually. Good time. That's great. 
So Adam, so I like this. I like this uh, spicy sandwich. But I, you're right. The problem with it is like, it's just not any kick to it. Like there's no kick. If to it's it. a spicy sandwich, you need it to be having kick and spicy. Yeah. Oh crap! Good thing I wasn't open. Yeah. That would have been, been really bad. Oh my god! I would have had the uh, pina colada flavor Dick. on my pants. <laughs> Okay, so that is it, you guys, for Jollibee. What do you think about Jollibee? Your first time. So I was jolly, and now I am so ready to go to bed. We're gonna take a slumber after having all the carbohydrates and all the things that make us tired. Oh man, I'm ready for bed. Food coma, for real. Yeah, but it was delicious. I had a good time with you, Robert. Yeah, no, it was been fun. Awesome. Make sure you guys check out Adam Roth and also Broken Iris's band. They are absolutely awesome. I've been listening Thanks, to your Robert. band for about 15 years now. That's amazing. Thanks, so, Robert. Yeah, we had a great time today. Pull it in for the real thing. Absolutely awesome. See you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe.